I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks, and today we're gonna to talk about the equipment that I use every day. I got this idea from watching everyday carry videos or everyday carry Instagrams. I've always been fascinated with what people carry around with them on a day-to-day -day basis in their pockets. And I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see what I use in my kitchen pretty much daily. Not everything is used daily, but these are the things that I reach for every single time I cook. The main focus on this channel is to teach people how to cook and give them some techniques and talk to them about how they can improve their everyday cooking. One of those components is the equipment that you choose. On a lot of the videos I do on Epicurious, you'll see that I use really expensive ingredients and we use really nice equipment. And at the end of the day, I don't think that's necessary, right? I am not a gadget guy. I never really have been. I have a few gadgets here and there that I really like. Uh, but for the most part, I choose items that are reasonably priced, things that aren't super expensive. You, know, you can buy the most like beautiful VIP knives uh, and the most beautiful equipment, but you don't need that in order to be a good cook. In front of me, I have the equipment that I use pretty much every day. And I wanna go through it all and talk to you about why this is the stuff that I choose to use. Let's talk about things used to cut. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is my cutting board. This is what I use pretty much every day. I got this at a restaurant supply store. You can see I use it every day. It's beat up. It's plastic. It can go in the dishwasher. I have two of these. I have a red and a green one. Uh, and in restaurants, we'll use red for meat, green for vegetables. I don't really follow that rule in my house because I clean and sanitize these myself. The first couple of knives I want to talk about are my pairing knives. Uh, they're both by Victorinox. They come in a set of two. And uh, I like the bright colors because, you know, colors are fun, right? Uh, especially orange, which is my favorite color. And this is a regular paring knife and then a serrated paring knife. Uh, I love these. The good thing about these knives is that they're not super expensive, right? And when they finally kind of wear out, you can recycle them. And that's what I love about them. One of the things that you find working in restaurants is you don't want to bring your best knives to the, to the kitchen. When I was coming up as a cook, I brought all my beautiful knives from culinary school and they all got stolen. So I learned really quick to buy knives that were fairly inexpensive uh, and maintain them and take good care of them. And then if someone stole it, I really wasn't that sad about it. Another knife that I use on a regular basis is my Victorinox boning knife. Uh, it's inexpensive. I keep it sharp and this is not flexible. I don't feel like I have a lot of control with flexible boning knives. With a firm boning knife like this, I feel like I have a lot more control of what I'm cutting. I have two chef's knives that I use on a regular basis. This one is by Fury. Uh, I got this as a gift for doing a charity dinner and I love it. I love the way it feels in my hand. Um, it is nicely balanced. It just feels good. If you're going to buy a knife, you should feel it in your hand before you decide to purchase. You want to understand that you're going to cut a lot with this, so it should feel comfortable in your hand. And this, that's what this knife does for me. The other chef knife I use is a Wusthof 8-inch chef knife. And uh, I found that I like the smaller knives for some reason. You know, I've seen 12-inch chef knives. I like the smaller knives. I feel that they feel better in my hand. Uh, I don't get fatigued as fast. So, uh, a Wusthof 8 inch chef knife. Now I know I said six knives, but I always count my peeler as a knife. This is a cutting instrument uh, and it is basically two little knives right here. And this one is a Recon Kuhn, I think it's pronounced. I've used these for the past 20 years. They're Y peelers, they're really inexpensive. Usually you get three per pack. Um, they stay super sharp, they take a beating. I've used them throughout my culinary career and this to me is probably the best peeler out there. Last but not least with my cutting implements, my cutting instruments. I have a steel, a honing steel. A lot of people think that this is used to sharpen your knife. It's really not used to sharpen. It's used to tune up your knife, right? So once you have a nice edge on it, you run it over your steel to tune up the edge. This is actually from culinary school. Uh, one of the things that survived from culinary school has a beautiful rosewood handle um, and it's just a beautiful uh, honing steel and this is something that I will give to my kids. Let's get into the heavy metal. <laughs> Okay, let's go through my pans. This is a small pasta pot or a stock pot. I'm not really sure of the exact amounts in these, but I will put them in the description so that you guys have them. Uh, I use this for making pasta, soups, stews. Um, this is perfect for like making pasta for four people, which is my household. Um, this sauce pot with a handle is a workhorse. I love it. I use it for pretty much everything, rice, 
beans, stuff like that. The sautoire, which has the, the straight sides. I also have a saute pan, which is a little bigger and is just as messy on the outside, but I use this pretty much every single day. And then I got these mixing bowls as a set of uh, two or three mixing bowls from Williams Sonoma. They're heavy duty, right? They're not flimsy, right? Uh, so again, money was spent here but it's money that will last pretty much the rest of my life. So if you're gonna spend the money, spend the money on the good stuff. Here's some of the other equipment that I use on a daily basis. First one being a gadget actually, and I said I'm not a gadget guy, but this is the one I spent a little money on. This is the pepper cannon from Man Kitchen. It is expensive and uh, I splurged on it and my wife was like, how much did you spend on that? Uh, and it was a fair amount of money for a pepper mill, but I've used Peugeot pepper mills my whole career, which are French wooden pepper mills. They're beautiful. Uh, and this one blows them away. I love the Peugeot still, but this one is like four times the amount of pepper with one grating. I'll have a link to that. I'll also link some Peugeot pepper mills, which are really nice. Um, Another piece of equipment that I use every day because I'm doing dishes is this little hard piece of plastic. My sister-in-law Eileen gave me one of these years ago uh, and I finally found them on Amazon. And it's just a hard piece of plastic that you can scrape pots and pans with instead of using Brillo. You, this this kind of gets all that hard crusty stuff off the bottom of your pan. With This thing is amazing. They come in like packs of four. Last time I bought them, I bought like four of them. I gave one back to my sister-in-law Eileen. Great piece of equipment to have for cleaning up. Uh, something else that I push in all of my videos that I ever make doughs with is a uh, dough scraper. This one I got for free from Alba Duster. It's a chocolate company, but Atico makes really good ones. They're bendy. You can scrape things up off your table with them. You can scoop things out of bowls. You can fold things with them. This is literally like, you know, a dollar and it's probably one of the best pieces of equipment you can buy. Um, this I call a paella spoon, and you'll see that chefs always have spoons in their bags, not only for tasting, but for saucing. I use these for serving, for saucing, uh, and for scooping stuff, but uh, it, I call them paella spoons because in my last job, we used these for our paellas. Swing Away makes the best handheld can openers. Swing away. They're heavy duty. They don't fall apart. They're not super expensive. Uh, my grandmother had these. This brand's been around forever, uh, but I have this for opening cans. And um, this one I've had probably for about 15, 20 years, and it's still in great condition. I recently found these, and this is another gadget. These are spatulas from Gear. Uh, I love them. Uh, I go through rubber spatulas or silicone spatulas a lot, uh, and these have kind of held up to my abuse. Um, they're a little bendy. I like a little firmer spatula, but gear makes good ones. This one you can see that <laughs> I've used a lot. And this is again, bargain basement stuff. Uh, we got these at Target. They're made by Martha Stewart actually, and they're bamboo spoons. But for some reason, I always grab for wooden spoons and bamboo spoons. And you can see by the amount it's worn that I use this all the time. I don't know what it's about, but I do grab for this. It feels good in my hand and I like the way it stirs, I guess, you know, call me crazy. Uh, last but not least is my tongs, right? There's a lot of flimsy tongs out there. I've had these since I'm a cook. So I've had them for a good 15, 20 years. These are made by a company called Adcraft and they're made of aluminum and they are super, super strong um, and super firm. They're not flimsy. So whenever you go for tongs for grilling, get ones that are really kind of made of good, solid, like thick metal. And I've had these for years and they're wonderful. All the things on this table, except for my pepper mill, are super inexpensive, right? You don't need to buy super expensive things for them to be good or to make you a better cook. Another thing I use on a daily basis are deli containers. I get these at a restaurant supply store. I also use Pyrex to store food as well, but these are my go-to everyday food storage things. They are reusable, they can go in the dishwasher, um, and they're super cheap, and I love them. We use these in restaurants all of the time time to store food. You can write on the labels. You can see this was Karen's lunch one day, uh, but they're reusable and they're super cheap. And I keep a stack of them in the, in the closet at all times. It drives Karen crazy. Cause she's like, what are we doing with all these plastics? But as a chef, this is something that like, I feel comfortable having in the house to store my food. And the last thing I want to talk about is my obsession with binder clips. These things, 
I didn't use them in my professional kitchen, but I use them everywhere in my kitchen. I use it to hold my microphone on my shirt. I use them for chip clips. Uh, I get them in assorted sizes, large, medium, small, extra small. But binder clips, I use them on my pastry bags when I don't want the stuff to leak out. Uh, you should have a bag of these. They're super cheap. I buy them on Amazon, they come in a bag. Uh, but binder clips, something you definitely need in your kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We have merch in the description down below. We have a PO box down there as well. Uh, I wanna thank our Patreon patrons for supporting us. Thank you so much. And that's it. That is the equipment that I pretty much use every day in my kitchen. I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Have a good one.